Picture a world with no computers, no phones, not even electricity in every home. Now imagine a young woman in the middle of the 1800s who somehow saw the future anyway. Her name was Ada Lovelace, and she dreamed up the idea of computer programming before computers even existed. Ada wasn't just anyone. She was the daughter of the famous poet Lord Byron. But while her father loved words, Ada loved numbers. She studied math at a time when girls were barely allowed to learn it. And then she met a man named Charles Babbage, who had invented a machine called the Analytical Engine, an early design for a computer that had never been built. Most people thought the machine was only good for solving math problems, but Ada saw something more. She translated a long, complicated article about Babbage's machine from Italian into English, but she didn't stop there. She added her own notes to explain how the machine could work, and those notes were three times longer than the original article. Inside her notes, she explained how the machine could be told what to do, step by step, to solve problems. She even described how it could calculate a complex set of numbers called Bernoulli numbers. This plan, she wrote, it was the world's first computer program. That's right, Ada Lovelace became the first computer programmer nearly 100 years before the first real computer was even built. But she didn't just think computers would do math. She believed they could also make music and art, depending on what we taught them. She imagined a world where machines could create, not just calculate. That kind of thinking was unheard of in her day. Women weren't expected to work in science or math, and certainly not to invent ideas that would change the world. The truth is, Ada never saw her ideas come to life. She died young, at only 36 years old. But her notes were saved. And over 100 years later, people began to see how important her work really was. Now, every time we play a video game, write a computer program, or listen to music made by AI, we're living in the world Ada imagined. She proved that you don't have to live in the future to shape it. You just have to dream big and write it down.